Hello everyone, my, hello everyone, my name is Jaleese, this is a JJ Movie 2 Soul Shash Game Reviews, and right now I'm doing the original series, Season 1, Episode 12, this episode's called A Dance Back from the Grave, and I gotta say this, um, we just saw a really badass witch, a really badass witch, uh, in this episode, and he just died in this episode, his, this episode, uh, at, at main star was Papa Tunde. this guy is a black guy from New Orleans, uh, back in the day, he was in the 20s, he practiced ancestral and sacrificial magic. He came along during the, those 20s. Uh, he basically won his own territory in New Orleans. Like a gangster coming to the new town. And if not, he's going to kill people. He killed uh, people. Uh, he killed some witches that were against him. He killed werewolves in the quarter. He killed vampires. Anything he could do. Mars, uh, Klaus, during back in the 20s. Uh, we also learned Marcel was from World War One. He went to World War One. And Klaus welcomed him in open arms. Rebecca was still mad about Marcel not getting her out of that 52 year uh, when they were when she was asleep and she didn't Marcel didn't wake her up. But with Papa Tunde, uh, when he was there, he had two sons with him, and uh, his sons and him channeled their magic together. So Klaus beat him because he killed the sons. So it would leave it as a head left in a box, and Klaus gouged his eyes out and he died. Now, we all know from last episode that Celeste has brought him back. And he basically took down Rebecca He ch and set, took her power as an original. And then he tried to kill Marcel and Klaus. We all see a little bonding moment with uh, Camille, Marcel, and Klaus. And it was such great moments right there. And basically, he almost, uh, uh, Papa Tunde nearly killed Klaus, almost. If it wasn't for Elijah and Haley, he probably wouldn't have done it. And Sophie Dever, Sophie Dever helped out good too um and also uh, there's some major plot things one we found out what was in marcel's secret one he brought papa tunde to new orleans to take on klaus just so he could get revenge and to get with rebecca but the thing is though back in the 20s he also uh, was devising a plan to bring michael which was kind of predictable was more shocking that rebecca and uh thought of the idea first so, so Rebecca could complain all she wants to how all our fire chases around everywhere. Oh no, they, you were safe in New Orleans as soon as you brought back your own father and the plan screwed up. And you thought Marcel was dead and that was dang you. And she also had it out with Elijah. Elijah asked her not to go against Klaus in any way and just don't do nothing. If you can't support him, don't do nothing. Which was smart. And the only... And Rebecca... Is pissed off at Klaus still. She doesn't care if she if she gets dagger or anything like that. But the thing is, though, she's getting her revenge. She's being like Tyler in this way of with the revenge and everything. And it's not really good to have this revenge. She's tired of Klaus always ruining her happiness. And she says that you're a hypocrite, Elijah, because you would choose love, your love for Haley over Klaus and over our family. Same thing she would choose Marcel or anybody else that she loved over her family. And in kind of way, Klaus never chose anyone love over family. The only one time he officially did was when he rescued Caroline from a bus thing and then saved Rebecca. But he knew Rebecca was going to die, so it was a win-win. But to, to actually choose, I don't think Klaus ever chosen a woman over his own family. Elijah has. Elijah has with a little bit of Katharina and... Well, a little bit at the beginning with Katharina. At the end, he did not. He's pro focused on his brother, but he kind of is doing that now with Haley just a bit. And Rebecca, well, she does it too. Now, don't get me wrong. They have, Elijah and Rebecca both have good reason to love and to get away from Klaus. They have tremendous good reasons. It's just, it's just interesting to see that Klaus never really left them. And they kind of left him in a way. In a way. You know, he drove them off most of the time. Now, here's the thing. I was really liking Papa Tuna. And at the end, he sacrificed himself so Celeste could have all the magic. Uh, uh, the sacrificial magic of the vampires in the, basically in the tombs that they collected. Also, uh, Thierry, who got out, uh, she, uh, Klaus gave them all an ultimatum to the vampires in New Orleans that you all could stay and be soldiers or leave and get out. So Thierry left with a group of vampires. He thought Diego was going to be with him, but apparently not. So they, they, Diego, or I believe his name is, stayed with a whole bunch of vampires, but Klaus still has a good army, but not as much as it was before. So I guarantee you, Terry will probably show up in the next episodes with the, that army and try to take on uh, Marcel and the others. 
any due time. And I really, really enjoyed this episode. This episode is called Dance Back from the Grave. And it was really great to see the um, uh, flashbacks. I really, really enjoyed this episode. I'm really loving the originals right now. Original season one. It could possibly be the, all the vampires this season. And I gotta say, the vampire Diary seasons for all five of them right now. Four is my least favorite. Then it's five. Then two. One and three are classics. I love the Vampire Diaries season one and three. But originals could have beat it up. They have a good story and they keep on with this. And I'm wondering when that baby's gonna come out. I'm wondering when that's gonna happen. But anyway, other than that, this episode was episode 12, Dance Back from the Grave. And what a great episode this was. Not better than last episode's uh, as emotional hit, but it had good action. It had good drama. It had good suspense, good romance. And I enjoyed this episode very much. So, yeah, this is the JJ Movie Team slash so Game Reviews. Everyone, subscribe if you like. Subscribe, like, comment below, whatever you want. Tell your friends about me. Uh, continue to do your own videos as well. I'm glad to see what other people doing more videos as well. And let me know what y'all think, everyone. Have a good day. Bye-bye.